Welcome to my channel So Simple and today we're going to make gluten-free cookies out of roasted chestnut and rice flour. So we'll need a three-quarter cup of roasted and chopped chestnut, we'll need one cup of sugar, we'll need one cup of rice flour, you can take any flour you want but I do add the rice flour. We'll need 150 grams of butter. It's a little bit less than one and a half stick of butter, but I like a lot of butter, so I'll use one and a half stick. We'll need one egg yolk. It's actually a great recipe for somebody who has um, allergies to egg whites. We'll need a little bit of baking soda. I like to add vinegar to it or you can use a half teaspoon of baking powder. It's either half teaspoon of baking soda or half teaspoon of baking powder. It, half a teaspoon of vanilla, some cinnamon for the topping if you want to sprinkle on top of your cookies, and we'll need four tablespoons of starch. So starch is going to be our glue instead of gluten. That's interesting how the word came from gluten and glues together. So the starch is going to be our glue, glue all of these ingredients together. So let's start. The butter should be at the room temperature. It's a very easy recipe and um, all we do is we just mix all ingredients together. As I mentioned before, our butter should be room temperature. So it's very soft and we are just putting it all together. I'm going to use this little wooden spatula and then we'll add one yolk, we add four tablespoons of starch, kind of premix, oops, premix it together, you have to be careful mixing it. It says that you should mix all of these ingredients by hand, but I'll start with my spoons and then we'll do continue with the hands. Um, then we do chestnut flour. It's just roasted chestnuts, chestnuts and grind it. I love this chestnut flour. I what I actually do is I roast a lot of chestnuts. It says in order to make three quarter cups of chestnuts you need to get half a pound, um, I'm sorry, you need to get 500 grams of chestnuts. It's a, it's a little bit more than one pound of chestnuts. Roast them and grind them. I roast and grind a lot of chestnuts and I just put it in the freezer and when I need to use it for my cookies I already have my chestnuts flour ready. For rice flour, you can use any gluten-free flour, but I'm using rice flour. I just grind it in my coffee grinder. It doesn't come out as a fine mixture, as a fine flour as you would buy at the grocery store, but it gives a little crunch to your cookies and I actually like that. Um, it ends up being a good thing. And we add one cup of sugar. The recipe calls for powder sugar, but I don't like powder sugar because it already has a lot of starch and other ingredients besides sugar in it. And I like my cookies crunchy, so this little sugar crystals will give crunch to my cookies. Uh, then we add over here, I'll continue with my hands after this, then we add to here uh, our baking soda. I don't use baking powder, I use baking soda. It's a half teaspoon of baking soda. We just put some vinegar, I have white vinegar in it. Just put some white vinegar. Mix all of it together in there. And we do half teaspoon of vanilla. You can take any vanilla extract you want, but the natural vanilla is always the best. Let's see, that's it. And now we can mix all of it together by hand. And we need to make little bowls. And those are going to be our cookies. And we'll put it on parchment paper and we'll bake it. Um, the cinnamon goes on top of the cookies after they baked. I actually like to add 
if you're not allergic to nuts I like to add either sesame seeds or nuts or some other type of seeds for just kind of make it fun so you know what I'm not even going to mix it with my hands it's already done it's nice crumbly oh it smells really good so we're going to make little bowls and should be teaspoon size bowls and we'll put it on a parchment paper and we'll bake it for 17 minutes to make sure that our cookies are unified I'm going to use this ice cream scooper and you just scoop it like that and then this will let you know this way you'll make sure that your cookies are the same all the same size so and then what I like to do is I have a sesame seeds here I just drop it and just roll it around like this you can use your spoon you can use your hands and then I'll put it on a cookie sheet just roll it like that and then you put it on the cookie sheet I have my old cookie sheet with not a parchment paper this is a Teflon paper it's not non-sticky paper it doesn't feel like paper it feels like something else so and then you put your cookies on the baking sheet like that you can roll it in chia seeds you can do sesame seeds poppy seeds you can do all kind of seeds or you can just do plain cookies so we'll continue doing this way and we'll put it in the oven afterwards your cookies don't have to be perfect that's um, the beauty of the homemade cookies you'll just keep going and keep putting your cookies in sesame seeds if you like sesame seeds the recipe the original recipe is actually not calling for any seeds or anything you just make little bowls like this and you put it on a baking sheet but I like sesame seeds I like to add healthy ingredients as much as I can into something if I can add some seeds I'll add seeds if I can add spinach to my milkshake or Swiss chart something that you won't really eat a lot raw then I'll do it and my kids would not even notice I'm adding Swiss chard to milkshakes and it's so healthy so good for you so here's a chestnut flour I wonder if you can substitute uh, for a vegan recipe actually we'll need egg uh, but I should try without an egg and instead of butter I should try coconut oil uh, it's almost like a margarine slash butter but I think the cookies will turn out completely flat when they bake but that's a possibility that's my probably next experiment I can do so I'll come back when I'm done so if you do it just this way but you have to press it against the bowl very hard so you have a firm cookie and that'll be very very fast it has to be firm otherwise it's already crumbly and there is no gluten to glue it together um, you want to make sure it's Kind of pressed but it's pretty fast look at this just keep going and that's it it's like ice cream i adjusted a little bit the size of my cookies it says teaspoon but when i use the ice cream scoop it's a little bit more than teaspoon actually it's a good size of tablespoon um but i like to improvise a lot so i did this style i did this style i did hand rolled cookies a little bit and they all different shapes and sizes so we're going to put it in the oven for 340 degrees Fahrenheit or 170 degrees Celsius between 17 to 20 minutes 